In this video, I'm gonna go over how to pack out elk quarters using a barrel hitch. I'm gonna assume at this point that you already know how to make a manty. So we're gonna manny up the two rear quarters and then manny up the two front quarters along with any of your back strap, neck meat, etc., And then put those rear quarters on one animal and front quarters on another. Quick video just kind of showing us doing one of them. Um, but in general, we're not gonna go into that in detail. Instead, we'll focus on how to tie the barrel hitch how to load the quarters, and how to secure the elk rack or the antlers on top of the load. That's our antler rope, it's a little shorter. Yeah. One over there. So if you get a big bowl and you, to pack out, it's a good to cut a sapling, tie it onto the rack. We'll show you how we load this thing on a mule here in a minute. This sapling will help help it stay in place. Keep poking your mule in the butt. Tie it above your thirds to keep this from sliding down. Because uh, you want this actually to be right on the butt. Hopefully your pad, saddle pad is going to hit real close to where it's going to set on, not on the mule. But a bowl this big will definitely drop down when the mule makes a corner on a steep hillside like this you'll you'll get a tine in the flank so real important to keep this rack up all right so when you take your manual ropes off you're going to have it set up for a basket hitch in this case we're going to barrel hitch it so we got to undo these ropes For barrel hitch, flip that guy around inside. We have a loop out the front. Take this one, put a twist in it, and stick it through the back. So you have a loop out the back. Loop out the front, loop out the back. We've got elk rear quarters manned up here. You want the heavy side to the front. I'm going to drop this over the top to George since he's on the downhill side. And then I can hold it for him. Goes over. That should go over. That should be your tail. That'll take up your front slack. And the one in the middle will take up your rear slack. How you looking, George? Good. Okay. 
Take your tail, come over and grab the piece, the piece in the middle that goes between the bars. Now hold that in your hand. You should be able to pull it nice and tight. Take your slack, go to your ring, or in this case our hook, and come back in and go over your, your loop. Tie your knot. Half hitch to lock it in. And you got a barrel hitch. We're going to rock the load real quick. As it tells us that rings come back to center. They should have been just right anyway because they're hind quarters. Yep, they're perfectly matched. Uh, so we'll tie up our slack. This is also sort of nice because you can get to your cinch if you ever need to. Obviously, you want to cinch them up before you put quarters on. The other thing, too, is if you take this time, extra time to check your loads now before you get going, trust me, it's worth it because you are. We're going to climb out of a steep hole right here, and that's the last place you want to stop and have to fix the load. Always tie your daisy chain to the back. The reason Joe's doing that is that way it doesn't catch on a branch. You want to be careful with this one. Do not stick your mule. Knew what we were doing, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and what George is doing is tied the rope to the D ring and a loop around the nose, back through the D ring, so it's sucking the nose down to the bars of the saddle. He's going underneath the back one and up over the eye guards. That's going to suck the back of the rack down to the back ring. By doing that, basically, he's got the nose to the front ring and the antlers to the back ring. Our sapling that we cut earlier is resting on the on the hocks, basically, of the quarters. I'm going to come into my loop. The weight of our pack pulls down also. I'm going to run it back to Joel. He's going to do the same thing on his side. original tie right there. This weight, this pack is going to pull on that antler. Jules will do the same thing on his side. Now we just put enough twine on our outfit to look like farmers. So because this mule has got the rack on, he's going in the back. Don't want the other mule coming up and catching it. I hope you guys found this video useful. When attaching a rack to uh, an animal, it's really nice to barrel hitch the load so you have a nice platform to attach it to rather than doing a basket hitch. And uh, if you enjoyed this and, and want to watch future episodes as, or content as I'm able to bring them to you, please hit the subscribe button below and we'll catch you next time.